So I was gonna make a video about cleaning and decluttering and giving a makeover to this room in my house. But then Kylie dropped her spring clothing line. And I could have sworn it was just a template for the easiest possible sewing projects for beginners. And the pieces were pretty cute. And after throwing all my stuff in a pile in the middle of that room, I decided I was not in the mood to declutter anymore. So I hatched a plan. I would make Kylie's entire spring line in a weekend. Then as I sketched out the various pieces, I realized setting aside a weekend, weekend wouldn't work because it would likely only take me one day. Cause see, the collection really just boils down to eight pieces. Yes, each silhouette comes in varying lengths and multiple colors, and I use the term colors quite generously, but we will only be making each design once. So without any further skidding, let's cut to that day. Okay, please ignore the fact that I look like a Klingon when I'm working out. How cute is this? Anytime I do abs, he comes down onto the floor by my face and starts doing. Now that the workout is complete, it is time to begin. Just watch that clip back and that's how I found out there's bird poop in my hair. You know, people often never say to me, Makara, there are a lot of projects that you've completed in just one day that are so technically wearable. What are your top three secrets to pulling such a thing off? Well, mom brought me nuggets. Step one, get an early start. Wake up earlier than usual so that you'll have more daylight to work on your project. Currently, I am about to start and it is 11.30, which you're probably thinking is not that early. Well, no. I'll have you know, I'm at 11.30 a.m. <laughs> Step, you're going to want a clean working environment. Better to take care of that the day before. Do as I say, not as I do. We're gonna clean this right now. Okay. The final step is make sure you have all of your materials prepared. I bought all of my materials a couple days ago. When choosing fabrics for this line, the important thing is to use your peripheral vision. So you're gonna walk through the aisles of fabric. If something catches your eye, something sparks joy and inspiration and creativity, it's not the fabric for you. We're gonna go most simple boring colors do you consent to your hands being in a video okay we'll make sure you do pretty things with okay. them while you're measuring the fabric okay. then so. okay now let's get, actually get, let's change our outfit in Get started. I started out with this sleek little contorted number, which is sold out in majority of sizes, and it retails for $98. This fabric I ordered online said it was four-way stretch, which it's not, and look how see-through that is. So to get this dress looking more like something Kylie would wear and less like something her boyfriend, aka Timothy Shiramay, would wear, front and back both have to be comprised of two layers, making the dress four layers total. And by the way, this shape right here is really important to forget because it should look more like this. Now sew up the sides and one shoulder of your dress, leaving that sassy little elephant trunk unsewn. Went upstairs to grab something, came back down, and the chandelier is broken. Now, which one of you did it? Okay, I realize I'm gonna have to keep trying things on and then taking them off, making alterations, and trying them on again. So I had to change into something more fitting for fittings, but I promise. Still the same day. There's the clothes I was wearing on the floor. Same day though. And my proof of that is my honor as an ex homeschooler. This is when I realized my arm snout should have been an arm trunk, so I gave it an oblong skin graft. Now we simply must twist these and pin them in place. This step would have been a lot easier with the assistance of a helper, but my housemate was too busy pooping on my antique books while writing a song. By the way, this is the soundtrack of my everyday life. Okay, dress one is finished. That one took about two to two and a half hours. Not too bad. So moving on to, let's do a top. This is me browsing the Kai website. And this is a picture I decided to keep in this video, even though I added it accidentally while looking for this screen recording right here. This is a $66 shirt that my eyes perceived as kind of boring, but then the website informed me that my eyes were wrong. And it revealed it's sold out in every size but one. You're going to want to draw the generalist of shirty shapes and give it a neckline that's the length of two credit cards and about one cockroach deep. Sew it along the sides and top of the straps. Then cut a strip of fabric as long as your favorite podcaster's arm and as wide as your favorite podcaster's arm. Sew it into a tube, flip it right side out, tie it onto your shoulder, and boom. No one will ever know it's Andrew Huberman's arm. You know, recently one of my favorite questions to ask people has been, if you had to start a podcast, what would the premise of it be? My answer to that question is, like an advice show, but a bad advice show. You know, where people call in with their social problems, and I basically just tell them one of the worst possible things they could do in that situation. And we have our next caller. Hi. Long time listener here. Uh, so I've been experiencing a little bit of drama in my life. Oh, you do sound like the type. Yeah, I think my friend's been talking about me behind my back. I'm gonna stop you right there. Does your friend like golf? N no. Yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna break into her house, turn on her smart TV, and watch 20 hours or so of golf highlights. Then hence more, her algorithm will incessantly recommend golf highlights to her. I think she'll learn her lesson and that might really bring you guys a lot of healing. Um, she's Amish. Next caller. I call the show Worst Help. So the people calling in wouldn't end up knowing exactly what they should do, but based on the title of the show, they would at least gather that they probably should not do what I say, which would help narrow down 
there are options of what they should do, which could be helpful for some people. But if worst help doesn't sound like it would be beneficial to you, might I suggest BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video. In all seriousness though, I have gone through a couple of really rough patches in my life where I was desperate for therapy. Both my dad and I called dozens of therapists begging for someone to squeeze me in, but no one in my whole city had any availability. It was genuinely astounding how difficult it was. And when you're already struggling to make it through each day, struggling to find a therapist is the last thing you need. So the thing that excited me most to hear about BetterHelp is how easy they make it to find a therapist. In fact, they find a therapist for you, usually within 48 hours. Another thing I encountered with therapy was finding myself unable to make my appointments because I was so mentally frazzled I'd often leave town and then not realize to the day of my appointment. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna have to cancel because I'm not in town for my appointment due to my compulsive desire to move to New York. But you can access BetterHelp from your phone or computer. Or if you're Amish, you're probably not watching this video so I don't have to finish that thought. You can talk to your therapist via phone call, video chat, or messaging, however you feel most comfortable. BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. And my subscribers will receive the special BetterHelp guarantee that no therapist will ever advise you to break into someone's house and watch golf highlights. First, go to their site. You can use my link, betterhelp.com slash answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours, all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash or choose Makara Tours during sign up and enjoy a special discount for your first month. So don't settle for worse help when you can get BetterHelp. Now back to the Kai Lection. This $58 top exists, and I find that quite interesting. To make it, you're going to cut out a square, then slash it most of the way across to give it that Pac-Man mouth that will be eating your arm. Sew the front two layers together like this, repeat that process on the back two layers, then flip them right side out, plop the front and back together, and bond them like so. Done, and this one probably took 30 minutes. So the next thing we're gonna make is this skirt right here. This little number will set you back $68, except no, it won't, because it's sold out. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, this is going to be the hardest thing in the collection. Don't know how how I'm gonna pull it off, the pieces, pieces, and then I zoomed in a little bit and realized it's just a pizza hut. You know the roof of a pizza hut? That's all it is, and it might be the simplest thing to make in the collection. Let's go. When sewing up the sides of the skirt, imagine raindrops falling on your roof. Where would they slide down? Where would they fall? Skirt is done, and that took about 30 minutes. Breaking news, which probably broke a while ago, but I don't really keep up with anything. There is a claim that Kylie took inspiration for this collection from a smaller designer named Jessica Johansson. So in case that's true, which the evidence is pretty darning, I just want to make sure that I am giving credit to the probable source of the looks that I am recreating. So. <laughs> Next up, these $80 pants, which feature an extra little lasso around the waist and are sold out in every size. To make these pants, you'll have to sneak into my house some night, preferably after 2 a.m., and steal the pattern I made for them. Just don't use the bathroom while you're here because Gary has been known to fly down and attack people while they're on the toilet. He likes the taste of vulnerability. But to make the fold-over waistband, you'll just need to cut out a chunk of time and set it aside to invent a teleportation portal so I can just come and do the waistband for you. Oh, and make sure you've been doing all of this with a zigzag stitch. I don't know the purpose of this extra little waistband. My take on on it is that it's to bring you a constant reminder of when you were a theater kid and they'd fit you for costumes then loudly inform the note taker across the room of your measurements in front of everyone while still holding the measuring tape around your waist. Pants are done. It took an hour from drafting to completion. What's next? Okay, so now to make this shirt, we're actually just gonna upcycle something. This is a dress that my boyfriend's mom was getting rid of. And I want this to be the fastest project yet, so let's shoot for 20 minutes. 12 minutes later, here we are. to address something. Some of you may have been wondering if Garion has looked very different to you in this video, because it's not Garion, it's actually a dog. <gasps> his brother's dog. I'm dog sitting because he's on tour. He has to be. Because that's his last name. Sure. And his wife is, I think she went to visit him on tour? Or maybe she's doing a reality show. I forgot to ask what she's doing. At this point, some decisions have to be made. I've got this that I have to use, and I've been putting it off because I don't wear stuff made out of this. I don't know who does. Apparently several people, because a lot of these pieces are sold out. I don't want to make the pants out of the flesh mesh, because if you wear flesh-colored pants from far away, it kind of looks like you're Winnie the Pooh in it. But maybe if I do the skirt out of flesh mesh, like from far away, that sort of like connection between your two legs should signal to people that there is clothing and that's not your natural state. Unless well, you had like webbed toes, but on your thighs. You have a mermaid and a human hut kid. What Ariel and Eric's kid would have actually looked like. Now to pick a flesh tone. Vera. No, Vera. Go sit down. <laughs> somewhere else. So there's this amusing dynamic where Bera is very disturbed by Garion. He somehow asserted dominance. He loves to fly around and follow her and when she sits down he perches next to her and she cowers and slowly slithers away to find a new seat. We have enough for skirt, dress, and the top. To make this $78 dress I used a layer of flesh knit, not to be confused with knitted flesh, and lightly braised it with a flesh colored mesh. I traced the white dress from earlier because it's essentially the same thing but just shorter and involves more courage to wear. I am tired. My back hurts. I really want to quit. But I was born 
1995, which means technically a millennial, not Gen Z, meaning hustle culture has taken its steamy tendrils and embedded them so deeply into my DNA that I feel really guilty any moment that I'm not hashtag girl boss. So I'm gonna stay up into the wee hours if we have to. Make the rest of the garments. How's that sound? So crazy. <laughs> no, we don't like that. Next, we make the Melanie skirt. Remember The Little Mermaid's Daughter? I think her name was Melanie. I didn't pay much attention during that movie. I was distracted. Now listen, as I serenade your ears with me talking. Okay, I know I've called a lot of things easy in this video, but a skirt like this has gotta be the easiest thing you can make. Just so a general skirt shape. Try it on, take it in if you need to, then cut off the excess. Oh yes, thank you so much for asking what I have been listening to while working on these things. Considering my favorite podcast, Worst Help Doesn't Exist Yet. Well, I was listening to this doctor. Don't ask me why, it's just something we do. Weaving superior average people and he was talking about kidney stones they used the word urethra a lot and every time he did i found myself automatically saying the word franklin in my head every urethra franklin but then when i tried to say it out loud altogether, i like couldn't it was such a tongue twister and i was super excited because i'm really good at tongue twisters to humble brag kidding nothing humble about it i'm incredible at them one of the only things i'm incredible at like you want me to say irish wristwatch three times fast i can but Urethra Franklin, Urethra, Urethra Franklin stumped me for a time. Urethra Franklin, Urethra Franklin, you're... You're welcome, world. I think I came up with the hardest tongue twister. Next, simply repeat the steps that I forgot to explain to you while making the waistband for the sweatpants. At this point, I had technically made every silhouette Kai's line had to offer. Every neckline, hemline, and waistband had been conquered at least once. However, there are two more things I want to make. I really enjoy the Pizza Hut skirt, so I'm gonna make one in white. A wise person once asked me, why, after all this success, is Pizza Hut still just a hut? Why did it never become Pizza Palace? And I responded, that's funny, I'm gonna put that in my video. And then he immediately sawed off the face of a styrofoam frog. I guess you just had to be there. Only a few more stitches and I'm done with the whole collection with a K. While trimming the last threads off my garment, my boyfriend serenaded me with a poem. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can see the light that's right before my eyes. Don't switch the blade on the guy in shades, oh no. I just gotta try this on and if it fits, it fits. Meaning my collection with a K is done with a K. Okay. Oh, hey, look at this um, picture. Garion perched atop it and turned me into one of those guys who always killed someone. So I was just in the checkout line at Kroge, and I hear this bag boy say to a cashier lady, Did you have a going on business? And I was like, I scooted my cart over to that aisle and said, sorry, what? It's like, that's just what I heard. And then the girl was like, me, I don't know who you are, but what's your favorite restaurant? And so then I just spent several minutes talking to a few cashiers about our favorite restaurants, why we liked them, etc. And what's the lesson here? Lesson is when you spend all day working on a project and you're at home alone all day, yet you're an extrovert, then you will invariably find yourself joining the posse of the cashiers at the end of the done diddly day. Okay, so I haven't had time to model the collection yet because I spent the earlier part of the day visiting someone in the hospital. It was an interesting hospital. It was like owned by the guy that owns a bunch of like the mall brands. So I bet it smells so good in there. We'll call this the soft reveal because I thought it would be fitting if I wore some Kylie clothes to go support Kylie Jenner's boyfriend, Timmy Shamalot, in Dune 2 tonight. Knowing my luck though, they'll probably have broken up by the time I get this video out. Here's my review. It was good. I still didn't get butterflies for Timothy Chalamet. Not even in this outfit. I had trouble following for a little bit, but then I started getting it again around the time Wonka and Elvis were dueling. And yeah, the message is, when you buy an old Pizza Hut and you want to transform it and turn it into something else, we will always know it was a Pizza Hut. It's amazing to see how Jenny Lynn's career took off after she quit singing Love yeah. Religion. It was the affair with Benedict Arnold. <laughs> it was the greatest show. I feel like it wasn't about Benedict Arnold. Pizza Barnum. Pizza Barnum. I'm a little disappointed that Austin Butler did yeah, that was false advertisement because in all the interviews he said he could like he can't get rid of it, right? So we go to see a movie with Austin Butler in it expecting to see Elvis. He lost the accent with the hair. I don't want my money back. That's okay. Now lock these images in your brain for comparison. Well, actually don't because mine aren't quite as good. They're close. They're close though. Before we go much further, I'd like to make note of something. I realize my stomach looks pretty flat in these shots and that's because this was taken first thing in the morning before I had eaten anything that day. And the reason I note that is I don't want you seeing this and thinking that it's like a normal maintainable way to look. But I'm also mentioning that for my own sake so I don't watch this in the future and think, man, I used to look like this. So I put the same skirt on later in the evening to show you this is how I normally look and no, I'm not expecting a human child that is. I am expecting compliments on how cheaply I was able to make this whole collection. So, so how, how much, much did I spend? 
Well, after much number crunching and tabithalations, I deduced that I spent roughly $65 worth of fabric, which is enough to get you one skirt off the Kai website. Oh, never mind. Close though. How, How much time did I spend? Well, I wrote down the duration of each project and did some calculating, and I have too many concussions in my past and not enough math skill to figure out the answer, but it was close to 10 hours. But there's still one more dress to be made. Sorry, that's supposed to be a surprise. Notes on these garments. First off, the skirt wins the award for most wearable. I've worn it to New York. I've worn it standing up, sitting down, walking, slow walking, so versatile. I think this shirt is what I'm the least satisfied with. It could have looked a lot better if made with like a higher quality seamstress. This makes me feel like I should be more proficient in salsa dancing. I actually love this dress way more than I thought I would. And I think it would be great as a wedding dress for like a plagiarism themed wedding. I think these are a great option for someone who kind of wants to dip their toe in the low rise trend because like they're kind of low in the front, kind of high rise in the back. Okay, never in a million years would I have worn this color, but I'm kind of stunned by how much I actually like it. Not something that I would probably have the guts to wear like anywhere in real life, but I like it way more than I thought I would. But after all this, I still had some fabric left and still wanted to prove just how simple these dresses are to make. So easy that they could be made by someone who's never made a dress before. And that's when my friend Grandpa JJ happened to show up for a game of chess. JJ, have you been wanting to make a dress? Buddy, give me the pawn. I want to leave my pieces set up, but there's no way to keep him from messing it up. I just need to invest in like some heavy metal pieces. <laughs> Look, kiss figures. <laughs> Later, as my dad helped me reset the carnage, I got an idea. You wanna make a dress? Me? Uh -huh. Please? You are going to be making this completely sold out dress. We'll give it a shot. This is how you'll earn your haircut. On your knees, peasant! <sighs> now the only physical help I offered in this project was laying out the pieces he was going to trace, which was the bottom of that one dress and the top of that one shirt. By the way, I just had to do a lot of cropping in that last clip so you can see either of our undies, or as my dad calls them, grundies. All right, so. I personally never pinned something so evenly. This is beautiful. It's a carpentry type pinning job. <laughs> After some brief instruction, father zigged and zagged and stitched away all up the sides and top of the straps of the dress. And now we're going to make a thing that ties at the top, pin along there and there. I was going to have my dad voice over this part, but he's watching my sister's kids. Yeah, me having siblings means he's other people's dad too, which is weird. We're flipping the belt. Is it a belt? No. What is it? A piece of garment. I don't know the name for it. Is it a chiffero? What's a chiffero? Okay, there. Oh, this is a new method. I see it. Yeah. One last thing to do. <laughs> Never done this before. <laughs> so hard not to help. Yep. You made a dress. How do you feel? I feel great. You wearing a haircut. Oh wait, you're still here. Did you want to see me try on the dress my dad made? My dad knocked it out of the park on this one. It's so good and old Hollywood, I could gag. It's it's giving Audrey heartburn. This has no business being so classy. Stop, why is this actually my favorite? Time, Time for, for a showdown. showdown. Weighing in at $98, we have this Kai dress. Then clocking in at a whopping 10 bucks, we have the first dress my dad ever made. One like equals one vote for dad, and I'm not gonna tell you how to vote for the other one. If you like any of these pieces enough to make them, post it on your Instagram story and tag me, and I'll put you on my story. And if you like any of these pieces enough to make them, but, but don't, don't sew, um, I highly recommend checking out Jessica Jo Hansen's brand. All right, I gotta go trim my chicken's booty feathers so that she quits getting dingleberries stuck in them. Better scoot along before I make you help. Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch, Irish wristwatch.